here at The Post, I have spent the last four and a half years investigating the UFO phenomena. And it turns out that the main story that we were told back in 2017 is absolutely wrong. And you can watch or read our previous reporting to learn just how wrong it was. So this big meeting with NASA, multiple scientists, experts from the government uh, was built upon, started from a factually inaccurate New York Times story. To me, one of the big surprising things was NASA debunked, essentially, one of the infamous UFO videos from the Navy. These three videos that were leaked to the New York Times in December 2017, one of those videos is called Go Fast, and it seems to show this object zipping at high speed across the, the ocean. And UFO believers for years have been saying that this object was moving very, very fast. Well, NASA, using basic trigonometry, uh, determined that this object is only moving at 40 miles an hour and that the fast motion is an illusion. Another thing I really appreciated was the very science-based language we heard. Collecting more good data for the scientific community to review in a peer-reviewed context will be important for progress to be, to be made here. There were, there were a few questions during this meeting that were essentially, wait, what are we doing again? <laughs> because they now call UFOs UAP. Unidentified flying object is out. Unidentified anomalous phenomena is in. And that term just confuses me. And I think other people, and I think people in NASA, like what the heck does anomalous actually mean? And that question was actually asked. I don't know what the phenomenology is that we're looking for. We say anomalous. Again, this question earlier, what does that mean? Anomalous acceleration? Like I think as we try to look at the data, we're starting from an almost impossible position when if we don't know what we're looking for. When you say UFO or UAP, it has a sci-fi connotation to it. And I think the NASA thing was great in that it broke that down a little bit. And it was a let's get real. Yes, there's a problem. We have an airspace awareness problem. We have clutter in the air. Drones, whether they be prosumer, consumer drones, they're everywhere. Balloon and balloon type objects. We also, as we learned in February, we have a problem with foreign adversaries are flying spy craft near, around, and over American airspace. None of those two things that I just said equals aliens. Aliens don't fit into that. There's nothing, nothing has been presented at all that points to aliens or extraterrestrials. And they said that in this NASA meeting. There is no conclusive evidence suggesting an extraterrestrial origin for UAP. The big thing I think people are starting to learn, and I was happy to hear some of the scientists actually verbalize this, is the more information, the more data we have regarding a UFO case, the less mysterious it is, the less weird it is, the less anomalous it is. These, these strange UFO cases become demystified once we actually learn more about them, there's going to be more meetings like this NASA meeting. There are going to be more questions like the ones asked. And hopefully, as we saw in this meeting, there are more answers.